Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Today's video is going to be another anti-haul. I have been feeling like we have been bombarded with so much stuff this season, especially with summer coming up and spring in full effect. We definitely have a lot of stuff to go over. A lot. <laughs> so today's video is going to be all about eyeshadow palettes that have just released. Brand new eyeshadow palettes you gotta get your hands on or not. So if you want to see what I'm going to anti-haul this season, just keep on watching. So the first palette I will not be purchasing this season is the Morphe 35R. It's a beautiful palette. It has a lot of warm tone colors. It looks more fall than it does springtime, but I will not be purchasing this for the pure fact that I do have the Morphe 35O. That one definitely has more orange tones to it. This one has a little bit more red undertones, more kind of burgundy, a lot more dark chocolates, a lot of those colors in this palette. The 35O has those colors as well, and I believe that you can make the same looks with both these palettes. You probably do not need both if you do have the 35O or the 35M or the 35, I believe it's OM maybe, it's the orange matte or the orange shimmer or any of them. If you have them, you probably don't need this one as well. Or if you have a more neutral based eyeshadow palette in your collection, you probably do not need this. This is something that I feel like they are just reorganizing the same shadows and then throwing it into a palette, calling it something different and selling it again. These do all look the same when it comes to the packaging. They are all that very cheap thin plastic and they have the sticker on the back. I don't know if they are relabeled by somebody else or whatever the situation is, but the, the quality is all right. I feel like they did have the same thing going on about seven years ago when I first started my channel in 2010 with Coastal Scents and BH Cosmetics. They had these very nondescript palettes and they would just put a bunch of colors in them and sell them. I'm not really interested in adding any more of the Morphe palettes to my collection unless they are something a little bit more differentiated from all the other black package palettes that I already do have. I find that they're hard to store and I don't really reach for them, so I will be skipping out on this guy. So the next one that I will not be purchasing is the Violet Boss Mad About You. Yes, new Mad About You palette. This is an all matte palette. It is really pretty, but it looks exactly like the Morphe 35R, the 35O, the 35OM. Whatever letters you want to put in front of it, they all look the same. I do have the 35O again in my collection, so I will not be purchasing this guy, even though it is all matte shades. I do have a lot of matte singles in my collection, as well as palettes that have a ton of really wonderful mattes, and I do have the Violet Voss Rise or die palette so I do not feel like I do need this in my collection because I do have that gigantic palette of however many colors from Violet Voss. I do not need this palette on top of everything else. Again they are hard to store and I feel like I'm just overwhelmed by so many palettes right now. I'm, no one person will ever get through all of these. If you are starting off and you want to include more matte shadows in your collection, this would be great. But for me, because I do have so much already, I will not be purchasing this. But if you do have palettes that look like this, you probably don't need this one. It's just something to look into, refall in love with your own palettes that you have in your collection and make sure that you are using what you have because you don't want your hard earned money to go off. Meaning that you don't want the palettes to start going bad that you do have and buying a new palette and then wasting the money that you spent on the palettes that you already have in your collection. Reshop your own collection. I'm sure you have a palette that has all of these colors. You don't need it. And I'm not buying it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So the last neutral palette that has been just released is by NARS and this is the fully loaded palette. It's a little bit more expensive and again it is a more neutral palette. It does have all of the brow bone shades, the transition shades, and the neutral glitters and things that the Morphe 35R and the Violet Voss Mad About You palette has. They are all tonally similar. They all do have the same overall look and the one from NARS again because of the packaging and the name it is more expensive than both so I will be passing due to the price the price point I believe is $59 
so I will be passing on this guy. It is extremely expensive and I do have many things from NARS that I absolutely love. It's nothing against the brand at all. I just have these colors in other palettes that I should use up before buying anything else. So I will definitely be passing on this guy even though it looks absolutely gorgeous and the packaging from NARS is always amazing. I'm just going to go ahead and pass. So the next palette that I will not be purchasing is the Too Faced Glitter Bomb palette. It's really beautiful and it does have obviously all glitter shades in it. It does have a white and a black as well and I believe those are matte tones. I am not buying this because I would rather use loose pigments than use something like this. It's very similar to the Huda Beauty palette, the rose gold palette, the glitter in that and it is harder to work with so I will not be purchasing this because I do have other glitter in my collection that I like to use more and I usually don't buy palettes that I can't make a full look with if it's just palettes that have all glitter. I tend to shy away from those more than I would if it was something that had transition shades and matte shades and shimmer shades and brow bone highlights and all of that. I tend to kind of warm up to those a little bit more than I do the palettes that are all glitter or all shimmer or whatever it is. So I definitely will be passing on this guy even though it looks really pretty. It definitely has some really pretty glittery shades in it. I would just am not one for a palette that I cannot make a cohesive look out of one full palette. So the last one that I want to speak about is the new Tarte Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. It is really pretty. It is a lot of shimmer shades and one matte shade, just one and it's called Myth. It's a really pretty kind of mauve brown color and it's beautiful, but all I can see in this palette is putting that at the crease and then putting one of these glitter shades on the lid and that's it. There's not a whole lot you can do with this palette unless that's what you're looking for, low maintenance, that one color in the crease and then a shimmer shade of your choosing on your lid or being able to put some of these colors on your cheeks. I don't see the draw here. I think that it is not well thought out and I don't really like the packaging all that much. I feel like you're not getting as much product as you would if it was a traditional palette. I like a lot of other palettes from Tarte. I like the Sex Kitten palette. I really like the Man Eater palette. Those palettes are more cohesive. They do have some shimmer shades in there and some transition inner corner highlights, some darker outer corner colors. They have a little bit more going on than this palette. It, this palette is really pretty to look at but I don't see the practicality here and I don't think that I will be purchasing it because I do have other things in my collection that I like more. I hope you guys found this informative and thinking about what you're buying just a little bit more. I know by doing these videos I have definitely scaled back on my spending as well as my palette collection because I don't need everything and it's hard to do that when the packaging is so cute but if you already have some of these colors you probably don't need these new ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please go ahead and follow me on social media as well. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links will be down in the description box. If you have not already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications of upcoming videos. We have a lot coming up and I don't want you to miss it. If there is something that you'd like to see or have a suggestion for a video please leave it in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful afternoon and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Similar in texture to the Huda to the Huda 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 to the Huda 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 Beauty. <laughs> it's very similar to the Huda Huda Why can't I say her name? Huda 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 Huda. <laughs>